What's happening everybody? This is Captain RL, Southeast Georgia, Coastal Georgia, Northeast Florida. Inshore, again this week. Had a day we could have went offshore, didn't do that, chose to go trout fishing. That was on Friday, yesterday. But Thursday, uh, the wind got up out of the wrong direction. I couldn't run to where I wanted to go. So we battled it out and, uh, and caught a few fish, did some red fishing. A lot of red fish on jigs, that's a lot of fun those of you who have not done that. But uh, plastics, I'm telling you guys, it, it, most of you know this and have heard this, but it produces bigger fish 85% of the time or better. And um, in these videos, you'll probably, you'll probably notice that. Uh, during the day on um, Friday, yesterday, we, we, we hit the trout pretty good. We had about 50 fish, I guess, maybe, maybe a little more. So I think we kept 20 and um, we put back a, a, a good many fish over 18, so there were some very nice fish caught, and the ones that were over 18, on plastic. So I'll show you the jigs of the week in just a minute. Right now, I'll roll some footage for you, and um, let you see a little fishing. Nice. Yep, fish on. Nice He's already coming to the surface out there. Man, there's a bunch yeah. of reds. Not one, that one little stump right up there, where that fork is. on that six pound tackle, man. <laughs> I'm afraid to lift them up with you know it. it. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Put them I oh. got them. Okay. Once again, sickle tail, Christmas tree, green tail. Yeah, mm -hmm. good jig, man. Yeah, white head. But they have hit the other stuff, too. Yeah. Good to catch them on whatever you can and learn them. Oh, he's got two spots in there. Yeah, on the triple spotter. He's silver, boy. He hadn't been in here long. That's a pretty Not. fish. Fighting like one. Yeah. Easy up on him, Blake. Easy up. Easy up. Easy up on him. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's a red. Oh, yeah. That's fun stuff right there, boy. Cookie cutter from the last one I made. Yeah, you're right, 18 inches. Now that might be a 20. That might go 20, bro. That's a nice little red. Nice little red guy. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's nice. Alright, easy one back in. There he goes. I don't see any of that, but he's out of here. Cool. Good job. Let's, yeah. do, let's get another one. Oh yeah. Man, Dumb, got, got another fish off the stump. That's uh, right off. Is that a red or a trout? It's a red. Old blue tail. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Man, that's fun on the side. Yeah, it is. Talk about how pretty that jig was. Yeah. That Louisiana mud now? Or no, that's that uh that's that sickle. Yeah. Cold. Yeah, pretty color. Is it right there in that same spot? Right to the left of that stump. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah. Stay in there. See you, buddy. We'll fight you again later. Sweet. Cool. Awesome. You know, Josh doesn't got any more. Oh, yeah. Nice trout. Well, out today like this. We ain't got the equipment out for filming and, uh, oh, yeah. Get a fish, Josh. Oh, yeah. Nice one. That is a nice one, man. Heck, yeah. That's a good one, boy. You want to start out. Gone. We're going to put the first one back for good luck. Always. Good job, man. Thank you. Looks good up there. What's up, Josh, right there? Yeah, you got the D-hooker. <laughs> or did you? No, I'm not sure. Straighten that sucker back out. <laughs> that was on bait. They had not hitting jigs yet, y'all. That was on bait. The bank looks good, though. We're sitting in about four or five feet. 
we'll see what we'll see what happens next it is low 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 in here and it's still going out wait for one for two me and josh ain't had a bite so we'll be back Here. Yeah. yeah that's a nice trout get a back a nice back on them good fish right there look at the size of that thing Joker. We don't want a tournament, boys. We can go to the house. <laughs> we rich. We don't want a yeah. tournament. Right. Oh, man, man. Well, he, he ain't got a measure that one. That was on the hole of Joey. Yeah. yeah. That's big. He gets you a plan if you're staying on the bottom a lot. It must have just, he'll, it he'll, must he'll, have hit him. If it gets anywhere in there, he'll sense it. He'll get it. Yeah. yeah. Well, there he is again. Easy over there. Good Lord. I got it. Here we like go. Man. Doubled up. On the on Christmas tree jig right there. And uh, Josh has got on a holy jolly. Holy jolly there. We just ripped those two right quick, back to back. Man, that's nice. It's nice, yeah. There's, just, there's definitely still a shoal of trout in here. It's not a, it's not a massive shoal of them. We think some dolphins have them run up here, actually. This spot's fishing out way too low tide to be this spot. Okay, so jigs that produced uh, on the reds on that. That was uh, Thursday again. That was on the, uh, by the way, I don't know if I've set a date. That was on the, uh, today's the seventh. That would have been the fifth. Jigs that produced. I'm gonna take these out of the bag and show them to you up close um, so you can see what we're fishing with. This is uh, this is uh, called a matrix jig. The model of this one, if it'll focus, is uh, it's called a holy jolly. It's pinkish looking, clear, but it's got a lot of blue and all kinds of other glitter and chrome glitter. Shot just it's, it's a good looking it's a good looking three and a half inch jig. So another top producer was the old figgy chicken. If you look, you'll see there's some plum color, there's some violets, there's chrome glitter. There, it's just a, a litany of shiny different glitters in that, as with any bait. But the belly's white with lots of chrome glitter. 
but this thing, uh, this thing's hard to beat, y'all. I mean, it really is. Um, DOAs are not cheap. This is a DOA cow, C-A-L, and uh, that that's a good shad to fish right there as a swim bait or on a jig head. Either way, doesn't matter. This will produce fish when nothing else will because it has pretty much the spectrum of color in it. This is a well thought out pattern and we catch fish on this a lot. Like this is one of our main jigs. That's the HR Christmas tree jigs smoked with a curly tail or to clear either one is fine. We'll produce fish for sure. And uh, the water needs to be somewhat clear in muddy conditions though, sometimes, sometimes not change heads around and try and figure it out on that one but you can have a little bit of stained water and still catch fish on these Christmas tree jigs this is the smoked one they also make it in clear and we've also caught a lot of fish on the ones in a little dirtier water this same Christmas tree he's one smoke color in this bag but we also have them with red and chartreuse tails so you can mix it up and try that in the uh, medium stained slash clear water now, another one that's good in stained water is this one and this is a root beer doa there's no other colors he's just root beer with gold and silver flake in them that fish can see that tremendously well in dirty water you can visually look over the side of the boat and watch the jig sink when the visibility is six eight inches you can see him very well to that point so when it gets that clear i'm excuse me that dirty you, you still even though this is you'll be able to see this jig better than a clear jig you still got to get it next to the fish because they can only see what they can see. Trout fish on uh, eyesight, they got to visually see the bait and it's an instinct strike usually and they hit hard. So they got to see it. So you got to cast over and over and over when it's dirty, especially. But that's a good one, root beer DOA. And these are all, the DOAs I'm showing you, all DOA cow, C-A-L. But there's that holy jolly rigged upside down on a on a white jig head and that right there caught most of our trout yesterday when the water was clear good jig matrix brand holy jolie model that's him and then just again to show you we were using white jig heads a lot that's the uh, smoked christmas tree the water was pretty clear maybe a little starting to get a little stained uh, mid incoming tide and uh, this was what they wanted this was it and all this is is a, is, a, is a straight radial jig you know grub type with a sickle or curly tail whatever you want to call it but he's uh he's good looking that's hr tackle i believe again so these are easy to come by and they're cheap and they're a, they're a real thin jig compared to a doa so you will know why it wasn't expensive because you'll go through them you catch about four trout on it it's done or about two redfish, and it's done with. And then some papa cork action, of course, you saw in the videos. Um, so we did fish some bait just to take a break from throwing, you know, because you're throwing jigs, you might throw, I don't know how many casts, there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of casts a day when you're fishing jigs. Because you gotta throw until a trout sees it, you know. Um, fishing bait's a little different, you know, sometimes you can drift it to them. Sometimes they won't hit bait and they'll hit jigs. And sometimes, they will, won't hit a jig at all, but they'll hit bait every cast. So it kind of is what it is with that, as you guys probably already know. But that's it for this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week. Fish on. You guys take care.